How to make mini leather sandal shoes. First download the template which is available from a link in the description. You can make left and right feet just by flipping the templates. So trace around each pattern piece onto suitably thin leather. Remember to flip the sole piece um, so that it'll match on the bottom of the shoe. This is what you should end up with. Then making sure that the front parts of the shoe are uh, lined up, um, start sewing uh, just where you can see here. I'm sewing at about a 3mm pitch using a hand crank sewing machine. Sew slowly and carefully all the way round. sewing round carefully so it uh, follows the curve of the insole. Then I can trim around quite close to the stitching line. Keep on stretching it into shape, finessing it, taking time to form the, the shape of the shoe. Yeah, that's looking good. Next I apply um, contact cement to the sole of the shoe. and then firmly attach that piece. Then leave it for a while for the glue to set up. Next I'm working on the buckle piece. This is a one centimeter square piece of black leather and I'm using a wood carving tool just to chop out two rectangles so that I can feed the belt part through. I find using a very small screwdriver the best tool for notching out those very small pieces on the end. but it's done in no time and the result is perfectly acceptable. I like to trim around the buckle piece just to make it look a bit more realistic. And use a black marker pen or a felt pen to make it a uniform colour. So onto the belt piece I'm just cutting a triangle at the end to make it easier to feed through the buckle piece. It's a bit fiddly, but it's not that difficult. Then I can trim around the sole of the shoe now that the glue has set.
And on the edges of the shoe, um, I like to use a bit of sandpaper just to smooth off the rough edges and prepare it for burnishing. This is a bit of toconol edging agent. If you don't have any, well, it just some uh, shampoo will do. It's just to get um, some friction going so that the edges get burnished. And I think that detail makes quite a bit of difference. So again, stretching the back piece so that uh, it's almost vertical. I'm adding a little bit of glue, contact cement, onto both sides. Gently stretching. Just doing what I can to make it look more like a, a real shoe. Now I can add the strap piece. Um, a bit of glue on the end there. I like to attach it on that side first so that the buckle is just where I want it to be. And then I can adjust the length of the, the strap. I can uh, cut the band just a little bit, add some glue, and press that into position. So then it's more or less finished. Just a little bit more finessing. And then it's ready to go. You can customize these shoes, make them um, into uh, key holders or charms to hang on bags or just accessories and objects on their own. You can make a pair just like this. You can make them for dolls. Um, well, there's lots of possibilities for customizing them. So please check out my channel for more similar tutorials and free pattern downloads. Thank you for watching.